Alright guys, welcome back to another update video. We got the Murderado here in the garage. And uh, we drove the Murderado for three quarters of the winter. And the winter paid its toll on it pretty good. The paint, from painting the bumper and the grill started to peel. So we're going to go ahead and take care of that. And then the back half over here, where the rust was at, got even worse. It's pretty bad. So we got we got some body work to do it, but right now we are in the midst of swapping out the upper control arms. And the reason we're swapping these upper control arms out is because we have the three inch rough country uh, lift on it or leveling kit, whatever you want to say. So it has the three inch keys on the torsion bars right here. And when I cranked up the torsion bars to give it its max lift it put the ball joints on a really bad kinked angle and literally blew the upper ball joints out in a matter of a couple months so this ball joint is completely shot it actually started to rub through the top and uh, the grease started to come out the top and these are brand new ball joints I just put them in when I put the lift on um, not just that but the lift also put the CV axle's on a really bad angle, and it's starting to make them rub through. And I had replaced them already because they rubbed through, and I just used regular uh, hose clamps, as you can see. And this one actually ripped. We're at it hose clamped, and as you can see, it's been spitting grease everywhere. It was way worse. I cleaned it up a lot. So I'm going to have to change those out. But today we're tackling these. And we're at a standstill right now because we're waiting for my buddy Gib Bob to get here. Now this bolt is loose. This bolt will come out, but this one seized in and will not come out. And my torch is out of settling, and I don't have a propane torch. And then, so I switched over to the passenger side, thinking I could do this one while I wait for my buddy. And it turns out that this bolt in the back is seized, and this one is loose. So we're at a standstill on both sides. But here is the new control arms and these are supposed to these these actually are actually correct the bad kink that the ball joint is uh, goes on so this is the driver side this is the passenger side and then comes with a brand new ball joint this plate which as you can see the plate goes in on top right here and then the ball joint slides into place Comes with all new Zerk fittings, all hardware, everything you need. Brand new polyurethane bushings. Oh, I'm pretty stoked about it. It's got the brackets to hold the uh, brake lines and stuff like that. So, pretty stoked about it. We'll give you guys a video of the after once these are installed. So stay tuned, more to come. Check you guys soon.